Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Great to have you. Now I've got some exciting news about NEO. Well, not just about NEO, but about the entire Chinese EV market. It's really, really taking off. And I expect to see exponential growth over the next 12 months, which will mean the Chinese EV market is really set to totally explode. NEO sales were up 97% in May. But key thing here, one reason they were only up 95%, only I say, because in a market that only increased by 2%, yes, the entire Chinese passenger car market increased by only 2%, NEO up by 95%, BYD EVs up by 190%. Amazing. Xpeng, 450% increase. So, NEO sales only up 95% because they're currently constrained by semiconductor chip shortages. However, apparently that problem will sort itself out next month, which means we could see an even larger rate of growth in June. NEO reported sales 6,711 cars in May, which like I said was a 95% increase over May of last year. Now, it looks as though NEO has produced cars at a maximum possible factory output rate of around 7,000 a month, aside from February, for about the last six months. Now, my best guess is that NEO would like to produce and can sell more. The demand is there, but they can't due to supply constraints. NEO says the semiconductor supply has affected their results in May, and they believe June will be better. This is coming from NEO. In May, the company's vehicle delivery was adversely impacted for several days due to the volatility of semiconductor supply and certain logistical adjustments based on the current production and delivery plan. The company will be able to accelerate the delivery in June to make up for the delays from May. Now, what is their most popular vehicle? Well, obviously, it is the ES6. It's the top selling model with a small year over year growth of 12%, followed by its coupe version, the new EC6, which sold 2,282 units. Sales by model, ES6, 5 seat SUV, 3,017. EC6 coupe version of the ES6 sold 2,282. We can't compare that to May last year because it didn't exist in May last year. And then we've got the ES8, which is a seven or six seat SUV, which sold 1,412 and is up 88% from a low base last year, which makes a total of 6,711 sales for the month of May 2021, up 95% year over year. So where are we at so far this year? Well, NEO so far this year has sold 14,268 ES6s. They've sold 12,154 EC6s, and they've sold 7,451 ES8s for a total of 33,873 vehicles, which is up 225% over the same time last year. Personally, I think we can expect to see doubling of this again next year. So you might be looking at around about 70,000 vehicle sales in the first quarter of 2022. Now, NEO is maintaining a delivery guidance of 21,000 to 22,000 vehicles in the second quarter of 2021. That's 5 to 10% more than in Q1 and more than twice what NEO delivered in Q2 of 2020. So guys, fingers crossed that NEO can continue their sales. Now, if I personally believe if these vehicles were for available for sale outside of China, let's say in Europe, at the equivalent cost that they are in China. I know that they're a premium segment of the market. Obviously, their vehicles cost more to buy. And the premium segment of the market in China is obviously much, much smaller than the mid-range segment or the budget area. So when you consider that, Neo are actually doing very well. But let's look at it this way. If Neo gets to a position where they can export their vehicles to China and sell them at a similar price, let's be honest, if you look at them on price, features, range, quality. There is no question, absolutely no question that NEO can sell these vehicles at a very high rate in Europe. The equivalent cars over in Europe that cost what NEO vehicles cost are probably, I wouldn't say double the price, but maybe 50% more expensive. And I think the perception there of NEO is that they are actually a premium brand. And obviously that's taken a little while to catch on, but I do think that's caught on now. And that many people, such as you watching this video, are very aware of what NEO is doing. They're aware of NEO's supercar, just how insanely fast that is. They're aware of the fact that NEO actually is a quality brand. And I believe they'd be willing to pay 
for NEO based on what they cost in China. I can see potentially NEO starting to export vehicles even more than what they are currently to Norway. I see them exporting to Europe next year. And I realistically think my projections for NEO for this time next year, I don't think we're going to see a doubling. I think we'll likely see a tripling of their current sales. And I think that this by for the, probably for the first quarter of 2022, I think we're going to see around about 90,000 sales for NEO. That's my prediction. Tell me what you think in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.